appreciate your vigilance. But the Argonians and the Grey Mire are guests. Refrain from any further displays of zeal, or I'll have you scrub down the barricade. Dismissed. Are you here about the refugees? I've already explained this to three inspectors from Elden Root. Until their status is resolved, the Argonians are to remain within the enclosure. Praise Ifrei. Someone who isn't going on about Argonian spies. Last year, this tribe arrived in Grotwood as refugees. But because we're all part of the Dominion now, my superiors can't decide what to do with them. Absolutely not. This entire tribe was enslaved by Dark Elves. They have more reason to hate the Ebonheart Pack than you or I. But someone in Elden Root decides to set an example, and now there are barricades. It's why I need outside help. Here's a list of the tribe's leaders. I need to know why they refuse to speak with us. Unless my report says they're cooperating, my superiors have an excuse to exile them. Soldiers and barricades aren't exactly a welcoming feast. But unless the Argonians are willing to speak with us, they won't stay in Grotwood for much longer. Utarte is some kind of spiritual leader, friendly sort. Slimjar fishes for a living, with eyes as cold and dead as her catches. As for No Fingers, I have no idea what he does, but the tribe respects him. You saved the Queen. Stars keep you safe, Traveler. Welcome. What brings you to the Greymire? Then you're a wandering soul, much like our tribe was. Without the gracious Wood Elves, we would still roam Tamriel in search of a new home. Once the Dominion understand the depth to our gratitude, I'm certain they'll remove the barricades. Please, ask me anything. The Dominion capital is the Wood Elf city of Elden Root. The bulk of its armies are Wood Elf soldiers. I see no difference between the Dominion and our Wood Elf benefactors. The tribe's leadership will soon meet to discuss this matter. Some fear the Dominion planned to enslave us, as the Dark Elves once did. I hope to put this absurdity to rest. You're welcome to attend the meeting, Wanderer. We have nothing to hide. We were slaves to Dark Elves for generations. When the Ebonheart Pact formed, we refused to fight beside our former captors. They called us traitors and banished us from our lands. We roamed Tamriel for years, and only stopped when we reached Grotwood. We asked the Wood Elves here for temporary shelter. Instead, they gave us the Greymire. All they asked was that we work the land and set aside some of our fish. For this, we must always be grateful. In Black Marsh, I was a tree minder. I tended the Hist, the great trees of our people. Here I will become a spinner, to speak with the trees of Grotwood. I will lead my people to Ifra, the wood elf god of the forest. We've always thought that without the Hist, there can be no hatchlings. But with Ifra's guidance, I will find a way. Think of it. Argonians native to Grotwood, to our new way of life. Proud citizens of the Dominion which Queen Irene hopes to build.
What's going on? I'm up. I'm awake. I was dreaming of speckled fish. Now I'm hungry and wet. Explain yourself. Despite what you may have heard, a bucket of water to the face isn't a traditional Argonian greeting. But I'm not one to stand on ceremony. What's on your mind? As long as I can raise my guar and sleep in the shade, I don't care who rules this land. We want to live in peace, as a free people. If the Dominion supports us, then I support the Dominion. I'd find somewhere else to sleep in the shade. Some of the rough skins in this village might not see it the same way. I wouldn't go throwing buckets of water on them. You might lose a finger. The meeting. I nearly slept through it. Udate wants to discuss the grumbling about the barricades. You should come. See how we govern ourselves. I've roamed from one end of Tamriel to the other, handling vicious beasts along the way. In all that time, I've never lost a finger. But the moment I call myself lost no fingers, a guar will tear off my arm. When my tribe left the Black Marsh, we brought along our native wildlife. None wanted the job, so I took charge. I prefer beasts to people. More pragmatic, less complicated. And you always know when one plans to eat you. It doesn't. But when you're the one who keeps the Wamasu calm, nobody gets on your bad side. Ha! I had you. The tribe sees one who remains calm in the face of danger. And with this comes respect. Simple as that. Be gone, outsider. You have no place here. I speak with warriors, not spoiled eggs. Your words are drenched in honey. How far do you stick your tongue up the beehive? Very well. Ask your questions. By dominion, you mean Queen Irene. She's like any dark elf matron, but her lash is an army of Falmor lackeys. The wood elves and Khajiit are the worst kind of slaves. They'll pave her road to victory with their own blood, and thank her for the privilege. Enough questions. Utate called a meeting to discuss the barricades. If you're so eager to learn my thoughts, you should attend. Thank you for coming, all of you. We have all heard the grumblings, but if this is to be our home, we must end this talk of defying the Dominion. You tail-lifting fool! Do we ignore the slave pen they built around us? This wood elf god you follow corrupts your mind! If Frick can give us hatchling Slimjaw, peace with the Dominion is our only chance of survival. While you whisper to trees, the Dominion measures our wrists for manacles! I cannot allow this. Slimja, what are you saying? Uta, ah! you turn our people away from their fist. I sanction you for your heresy. Ah! Slimja, no! Hail Sithis! Ah! I knew of Slimja's anger, but to murder Utate, madness. Didn't you hear her? She led crest first from the cliffs of madness. The anger has burned a hole through her good sense. Killing Utate must be part of a larger plan. Slimjaw was once a shadow scale, a holy assassin feared throughout Black Marsh. 
To sanction Utete as she did was a signal. Her hunters will lie in wait for whatever comes next. They'll fight to the death, so we need to fight harder. If one Dominion soldier dies at the hands of these fools, my entire tribe will pay for it. So yes, we need to kill them if it isn't too much trouble. But have no fear. Comes when called can help you track them down. <laughs> that tiny guar sniffing at your ankle. Don't worry. It means he likes you. Sweep the beach camps for Slim Jaws hunters. I'll round up a few trusted friends and check the forest camps. We'll meet at the old sea cave west of the Grey Mire. We should hurry. If any of Slim Jaws hunters attack Dominion soldiers, my tribe is doomed. I trained the little one to work with the hunters. He's quite familiar with their scent. If they're around, he'll be happy to lead you to them. The hunters? Less happy.
Come <laughs> on. 